Hi there. Uh, I figured I'd show you guys some an in-depth look at the uh, hollow viewer that Cloud Imperium Games has added to just about any of the ships in the pledge store right now. And uh, you know, I've I've always liked the hollow viewer because it allowed me to take a look at some of the new ships that were coming out, like the Gladius, and I could really get a good idea of what the ship looked like, and you know, spin it around, take a look, you know, and even get a feel for what the cockpit felt like too. So. Um, so I was playing around with it and uh, was checking out the Constellation because I have one and I was kind of curious as to how detailed it was and uh, was pleased to find that they don't just allow you to see the outside and a little bit of the cockpit, but really they've gone ahead and furnished the entire interior. So I've pulled up the hollow viewer here for the Constellation and I'm going to show you guys a few things about the hollow viewer. Of course, starting out, you've got the generic familiar view that uh, a lot of you have already tried out and kind of taken a look at. And you go, okay, this is cool. I can you know, take a look at the outside of the ship and get a good feel for how it looks and maybe even see some angles that I, I really wouldn't be able to see in the hangar, like from the top, uh, unless you're up on the railing or perhaps the bottom. So in any case, uh, this was pretty neat. And... Uh, I started playing around with some things, and I'll get to showing you the interior here in just a minute, but uh, just some of the basic controls. So you can also click on some uh, additional points of interest here. So, uh, you know, if I click on general here, I can hover over these little plus marks and show exactly what each part of the ship is. So I'm going to leave these um, on. And you can add propulsion, which shows where the engines are, um, the primary engines, and so forth. Um, ordnance, this is going to show where all the weapons are. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all of that on. Um, and then also there's a few different render types as well. So you've got x-ray mode, which allows you to really see that, you know, <laughs> this is a very detailed ship. Um, you can kind of see ghostly images of what everything looks like inside, which is kind of cool because uh, you can get a feel for where everything is relative to the different parts of the ship. So, you know, I had no idea that the bathroom was um, so far forward, for example. I didn't know there was all that empty space, but um, I shouldn't say empty. It's full of engines and equipment, but uh, then there's also wireframe and x-ray, which allows you to see the, the mesh, and you can also turn off x-ray just to see wireframe to kind of get a little bit more of a feel for what the polys look like. But uh, the main thing I really wanted to show you was was this. I'm going to go into free mode here, and um, I'm going to give you a quick feel for the controls. Standard W is forward, S is backwards, A is left, strafing, and D is strafing to the right. Now if you want to go up and down, E is upwards and Q is down. And then if you click and hold with your mouse, you drag that and that is how you walk around. So uh, just for uh, just for fun, I'm going to go down here and enter the ship as if I were actually entering it through the lift. We would just pop up in here and voila. This is the first thing you see when you enter your constellation. And here, since I've left the, uh, the various information points on, you can see exactly what everything is. And I mean, just look at this. It's, it's got all the detail. And you know, they've actually um, just, it's very cool. They didn't leave anything out, so. Up front here, you'll notice in the cockpit, um, you've got the main captain's chair. This whole thing actually spins around and uh, faces you until you're actually sitting in it. Once you sit in it, it spins back around towards the glass, and uh, you'd be sitting in it about like this. Now, I could also go in uh, here and just click on cockpit, which would take me to this exact spot. and. Uh, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to do that. But uh, you can really see 
like what everything would look like and only thing that I've noticed is you can't see through the glass panels so this is actually like a an information display here where your HUD would be displayed and then past that you've also got all your uh, your glass which you can see here they even have cabling there that's that's just really cool <laughs> um, the other thing I like about this hollow viewer is I can really get some angles that I normally would not be able to see while viewing my ship in the hangar so now one of the things a lot of people don't know about the turret access here um, is that this is you've got two buttons this button on the left if you push that the chair from the top which is actually this chair would come down and allow you to sit in it and then take you back up into the turret now if you come over here and push this button you can actually see the down arrow rather easily right now but in the hangar it's a little bit less noticeable it would actually make sure that this chair is out of the way and then pop up the chair that you see down there and allow you to sit in it and then take you down to the lower turret now I've heard some things that they may be changing some of the turret designs uh, do not take my word on that I'm not really sure but uh, of course you can kind of get an idea of what the inside of the turret looks like as well um, so I'm just gonna scoot up here and of course uh, you can't see through the glass and you're not gonna be seeing the animation where the turret pops up and extends its actual barrels and everything but you can really kind of see okay there's the joysticks and um, go through the glass here these blast shields raise out of the way it's very cool when they open up and then these are the actual turret barrels and once the blast shields are out of the way those extend forward and uh, are primed and ready to go so I just thought it was really cool that uh, they didn't just give you a basic ship to look at but really everything you you can really take a look at it and this is a kitchenette kind of table here that um, right now it's fully deployed but uh, when you're not using it you can push a button and this whole thing will go up into this cylinder and uh, this table part will act as kind of a cap and the bench piece here that goes around folds up against the actual side out of the way so when you're not using the kitchenette this whole area is unobstructed very easy to walk around and you can see here like if anyone was ever wondering that is a docking collar but uh, I mean this is a whole cargo bay and uh, right now the way it's designed is this whole floor um, drops down and I'm not exactly sure on the details because I haven't seen it fully animated but uh, at least with the Merlin in there that is how the cargo would be loaded through the bottom now this bump right here might be subject to change as well currently it's set up so that the Merlin is in this bay and these swing out of the way so that you can hop into the cockpit and deploy and you know defend your spacecraft um, but due to the way the cargo is loaded I'm not sure if they're planning on changing that or making some modifications there I guess we'll see in the upcoming variants now these over here are the the bunks or you know crew sleeping quarters um, and we can actually go inside you know it's funny you can't even open these right now in the hollow viewer but uh, they didn't take any of the detail out which is very cool nice little soft pillow there kind of see what it would look like laying in here and this here is actually an information display ignore that little SL thing that's outside the ship but uh, it shows uh, perhaps maybe some nice scenery or maybe you'll play music um, all sorts of theories there let's hop back out here now back here you've got uh, four storage containers one for each member of your crew uh, keep in mind when they say four crew members on the ship it doesn't have to be four you can have more you can have less uh, the optimal functionality though is four now this back here, uh, you would press this panel here in order to uh, enter this door. But uh, you go inside here and, oh, lo and behold, it's your bathroom. Nice reflective mirror there with a sink and uh, a toilet that you can actually um, sit on. And uh, turn around here, you got a nice shower door. 
that uh, you sort of do a Jedi mind trick wave and wave it out of the way. And when you go in, you see a nice little shower head there. So I just figured I'd kind of show you guys this because uh, I really didn't know that the Hollow Viewer allowed you to get this in depth. And uh, I think I'm going to be playing around with this to take a look at some of the other ships out there, just to, you know, the ones I don't own. And uh, just kind of get an idea and be like, huh, do I, do I want that? Do I like the way it looks inside? You know, get some information. So um, on the outside as well, there's a couple things um, that you can really get a good view of. And that is the, the missile booms that swing out, um, the way these are set up. And you may have seen some early concept art where you've seen these deployed, but they, are, they fully extend out 90 degrees. And... Uh, this is a shorter one. They're just loaded up with missiles. On top of that, you have missiles that pop out um, right here. So this thing is armed to the teeth. Um, and of course, I imagine the different variants, like the luxury variant, might not be so well armed. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just figured I'd give some people a more in-depth look at the Hollow Viewer. Uh, you all take care.